In the last video, we looked at how to simplify fractions. I left you with these questions, and here I'm going to go through the solutions. So my first question is 2 sixths. So what I can do is ask myself, which times table is 2 in and 6? Now if I look at my 2 times table, I can see both 2 and 6 are in the 2 times table. So I can divide the numerator by 2 and also the denominator by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now I've simplified 2 sixths into 1 third. And I can't simplify this any further. My next question is 3 ninths. So now I can ask myself which times table is the numerator in and the denominator. And I can see that they're both in the 3 times table. So I can go ahead and divide the numerator by 3. And whatever I do to the numerator, I have to do to the denominator. So I can divide that by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So I can say 3 ninths has been simplified to 1 third. My third question is 6 ninths. Now I need to ask myself which times table is the numerator in and the denominator. And if I know my three times table I know six and nine are both in the three times table. So I can go ahead and divide the numerator or the top number by three and whatever I do to the numerator I have to do to the denominator. So I'll divide this by 3 as well. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So I can say 6 ninths has been simplified to 2 thirds. And I can't simplify 2 thirds any further. My next question is 12 twentieths. I need to ask myself which times table is 12 in and 20. And I know they're both in the 2 times table. So I can divide the top by 2. And whatever I do to the top, I have to do to the bottom number. So I have to divide that by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 20 divided by 2 is 10. And dividing by 2 is the same as halving. Now I need to ask myself, can I simplify this fraction further? Yes, I can because I've recognised that 6 and 10 are both in the 2 times table. So what I'm going to do is divide the numerator or the top number by 2 and I'm going to divide the denominator or the bottom number by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now I can't simplify 3 fifths any further so I can stop there. Now the other way of doing this is to know that 12 and 20 are both in the 4 times table. So I can divide 20 by 4 and I have to divide 12 by the same number which is divided by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 
I want you to make a note of this. Instead of dividing by 2 and dividing by 2 again, you can simply divide by 4. So I want you to learn that little trick that we showed in the previous video. The next question is 18 24 I can do this two ways. I can see that 18 and 24 are both in the 2 times table. So let me divide the top number by 2. And whatever I do to the top number, I have to do to the bottom number. So I'm going to divide this by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now if I look at 9 12 I can see that they're both in the 3 times table. So I can divide 9 by 3 and I can divide 12 by 3. So these two have to be the same number. 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I've simplified 18 24 into 3 quarters. Now as before if I know that 18 and 24 are both in the 6 times table I can divide 18 by 6 and whatever I do to the top number I have to do to the bottom number, I have to divide 24 by 6. Now make a note of this, instead of doing it in two steps, dividing by 2 and then dividing by 3, we can do it in one step. We can divide it by 6. So 18 divided by 6 is 3 and 24 divided by 6 is 4. Now the next question is 4 fourteenths. I asked myself the same question. Which times table is 4 in and which times table is 14 in? I can see they're both even numbers. So I can divide the numerator by 2 and I can divide the denominator by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 14 divided by 2 is 7. So I can say 4 fourteenths has been simplified to 2 sevenths. My next question is 4 fortieths. Now I want you to pay attention to this. I can see the numerator is 4 and the denominator is 4 with an extra 0. It's 40. So I know that they're both in the 4 times table. So I can divide 4 by 4 and I can divide 40 by 4. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 40 divided by 4 is 10. Now let me give you another example. If I said to you 3 thirtieths can be simplified to. Now if I look, that's in the 3 times table and that's in the 3 times table. That's a 3 and that's a 3 with an extra 0. So I can simplify that to 1 tenth. What do you think this one is going to be? 2 twentieths. That's a 2. That's a 2 with a 0. So 2 and 20. So I know straight away by looking at these patterns it's going to be one tenth. Now I want you to try to learn this pattern. 
it will make simplifying fractions much easier.